This final four picks edition of the Sports Gambling Podcast is presented by WinBet. WinBet is now live in Arizona, Colorado, Indiana, Louisiana, Massachusetts, Michigan, New Jersey, New York, Tennessee, and Virginia. For boosted same game parlays to live in game odds, WinBet has what you need to win. Bet 100 and get 100 at winbet.com or download the WinBet app and start winning today. State restrictions apply. We're also brought to you by Sports Gambling Podcast Final Four Watch Party this Saturday. Sweat out your bets with us over. Over on youtube.com slash sports gambling podcast. And uh, please make sure to fill out our listener survey for a chance to win $100 SGPN gift card. Just go to sports gambling podcast.com slash survey. Hey, what's up, you degenerate gamblers? This is Bill Burr, and you're listening to SGPN. Let it ride, baby. Everyone to the sports gambling podcast. I'm Sean, second the money green with my partner in picks, Ryan. Real money, Kramer. What's happening, Kram? Dog. Well, we made it to the final four, Sean. We did. We and made it to the final four. One of the people you're looking at picked the right person. Well, at least one team in the final four. Oh wow. Yeah. That's Ryan. the tout. That's the tout. Ryan's Greater than zero percent accuracy. I, I mean, I'm looking at the the March Madness records. I was was surprised to oh. hear you start off with the tout. Joining oh, us, you, a oh. man who's not afraid to tout both sides of the bet. Oh wow! Uh, Pick Dundee, aka Benedict Dantel. What's happening, Colby? Well, we got to explain. We got to do a we got to do a, a, a powwow with <laughs> with stacking the money here. What do you mean? Because, sure. You know, I saw him coming out. Not only myself, but my brother NC Nick. And, what, was uh, I, what was I saying? Well, he doesn't understand that we can <laughs> never, under any circumstances. So it Colby, doesn't matter if I have Colby, a million dollar Colby bet. Was, Colby yeah. was rooting for Miami, even though his lock on the Elite Eight pick show was Texas yes, minus three. I thought it was a bad matchup for Miami. I was wrong, but here's and I and I bet on Texas, but. It doesn't matter. I can never root. It's it's to me it, it, the you can't root for Texas what? is worse than the Dallas Cowboys. Then why'd you pick them? Mm. Well, because you just got you got to be smart. You know what I mean? Well. They can't be an idiot. But I mean, um, <laughs> but in that in that scenario, you are a hardcore Eagles, Giants, or Redskins fan. If you are a hardcore Oklahoma fan and you are blindly rooting against Texas, yeah, that would make sense. No, but they just they've been part of what has been wrong in college sports. You mm. know what I mean? They've pushed this. You know they're just terrible. They're terrible. I could go deep. I could go an hour on, on on why you should never root for the University of Texas. You know, so it was a pretty standard call. I feel like everyone understood it. We talked about it on the college basketball experience the night before, and everyone's like, "Yeah, you make a great point." You know, and everyone was on board that we're rooting for the Miami Hurricanes, even I, though we're betting on Texas. No, see, sure. I, I don't, I don't, I, I don't prescribe to that because it, it, it'd be one thing if it's like FDU. Purdue, where okay, I flipped yeah. my I, I Benedict during that game. Yeah, okay, I I even picked. I think I picked Purdue. I thought Purdue was going to get knocked out yeah, early. The coach not, was talking shit. Not, the FDU coach was talking shit about not, Purdue. Not not first <laughs> round, but yeah, w- where that where it's a historic upset. But Miami was a three and a half point dog, and if anything, um, yeah, I don't know. It, I, and te- it's not like Texas has been this perennial college basketball power. Doesn't house. matter. They, 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 they have re they have been the the you know the team that had started all this conference realignment shit. They demanded their own network, demanded more money from the Big Twelve, then end up fucking up fucking over the Big Twelve. Mm-hmm. So they they are the worst. Let's be and they only have one national championship in football since 1970, and yet they're still out there. You sound like that lady. It is, that it is fun to do horns down. Yeah, I horns will down. Well, you, it's like the Cowboys. Cowboys haven't won in forever. Right? You sound <laughs> like this, uh, like the the politician in Texas who was talking shit uh, to the Texas administrator, Sean. I think I have this uh, this per- proverbial Rubik's cube cracked over yeah, here. Yeah, what do you got? Well, I, I think this is we, we noticed the transition to full tout this year. That's mm-hmm. been something really outside. <laughs> but I think that the quiet thing we haven't noticed is much like a cult leader. His following is getting him to believe things that are not actually true in reality. Drink the fucking Kool Aid, dude. He's got the best yeah. Kool Aid ever. And, and what he's saying is, hey, he's, at, he's got some Papal Moose Lacroix. My Kool-Aid people, right next to him. 
my people appreciated it when I switched over to the right no, anyone side. Anyone that likes college sports, anyone that like really loves college co- sports, co- knows they cannot root for the a, Texas. The cult leader cannot be wrong unless you went to Texas. That's and the only exception. When's the last time that uh, what, what's the Scientologist guy, Dave? Uh, whatever, whatever. I I I, 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 don't, I, I don't know because I don't Cavish. I don't really dive into. Scientology. You know how many times he's been wrong <laughs> with his people? Zero. Zero. <laughs> Colby, point zero. Colby starting to walk that that fine line. How's that Kansas win total treating you, folks? Huh? Well, it's two not, years in a row. You came. Come in, back down the road. All right. <laughs> you were you were talking earlier. You know we we thought you were just trying to learn about Reno out there, but it turns out. You're looking for a nice place to homestead and bring your people. The cult of Colby (laughs) is coming. (laughs) Wouldn't be the first person from Hollywood to 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 make that city go again. Uh, Hey, you're looking to bet on the Final Four and the national championship. Of course, you got to do it over at WinBet, where you can bet big, win even bigger. Massachusetts, sign up today. Bet 100, get 100. State restrictions apply. So many ways to win over at WinBet. Of course, spin that magical, beautiful parlay wheel for an added bonus on your parlay. Not only the thrill of the parlay, but an added bonus. Are you kidding me? So many ways to get paid over at WinBet. Of course, offer subject to change. Terms and conditions at WinBet.com. Must be 21 or older and present in the state. Replace your room is available. If you're serving us, give them a prompt call. 1-800-522-4700. And... Make sure to, uh, well, A, we got our final four watch party. Going to be giving away prizes, live bets. Just hang out with us, get tuned up, watch the final four all Saturday, starting when the first game starts, 3 o'clock Pacific, youtube.com slash sports game on podcast. Make sure you, make sure you, that subscribe button. And of course, our master's contest, sports game on podcast.com slash golf party. Hang out with Ryan and I in Las Vegas, watching the Masters. Uh, and uh, you get a free hotel room, hang out in the cabana. Can't make it. You can still get a nice discount. Circa Las Vegas promo code SGP15. I mean, and, and the and the people complaining about the Final Four. There's uh, no yeah. there's no blue bloods in the Final Four. First Col- off, UConn's a fucking blue blood. All uh, right, Colby. Uh, it's almost like you must have tuned in to my Hoops Peterson <laughs> appearance last night. I did not, but uh, I was there in spirit. Yeah, Tuesday night. We were talking about this very thing. And you know what? Hoops describe the people that are hating on the Final Four, the hating on the idea of the upset, hating on the idea of madness. It's literally called March Madness. Yeah, it has it like in the name. Why idiots. would you be annoyed at it? Yeah. And these these teams, they are good. Like FAU's won a, a crap ton of games. UConn, if they don't miss, uh, if Hurley doesn't miss a couple of those games, they could easily be a, a two seed, a three seed. Like they weren't very. Of course, we are witnessing I mean, history they, the first time. No, no uh, one seed in the final. I mean, UConn four. was like number one a lot of the month of December. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean. It's no, like, so like they they weren't some crazy upset. And, and uh, Ares, you know, San Diego State, they just play good defense and they're experienced team. Like it's not. Crazy crazy to think they come along in Miami uh, is just a team with awesome guard play that has been shooting really well and lighten it up. Like there's nothing, it, there's it, nothing fluke. I, I guess the, if you look at the seeds, uh, it's if, fluky, but if, if you look at those teams, these are the type of teams we always see in the final four. If you're bored by this mm, final mm. four, maybe you're just not a college basketball fan. So go watch your fucking baseball, be by go watch your, go watch whatever. We don't want you. All right. <laughs> I mean, I, I do think they're, they're like, I understand hot take culture. And I think the majority of the people with the like upsets are bad because you end up with a worse product at the end, a la, you know, teams that don't have one or two seeds next to their name. But what I don't understand is the people trying to say it's not exciting content. I mean, this tournament uh, what, has maybe been the best tournament ever. I, there have like, been certainly some games that have been, uh, you know, b- blowouts, but not, not nearly as much I, as last year. I mean, literally before the tourney, I talked about how badly I wanted to see UCLA Gonzaga instant classic. It, it happened. Yeah. San it was Diego a- state winning back to back rock fights, which by the way, if you've never watched a game with Colby, the 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 pure <laughs> variance, the bipolar nature of him mm. just wanting to rip his eyeballs out watching them play offense, oh, yeah. throwing <laughs> his hat, said, "You suck, 
you suck. And then on defense, <laughs> just loving the hustle yeah. and the grit. I, I mean, all over the map. But yeah, just I mean, saying, I, you should set, set a fucking screen sometime. But right, I, set a fucking screen. I do think you also have some some like some really edge case versions of fun narratives. San Diego State, a program that's been knocking on the door for a long well, time. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, they they busted through that door in 2020 oh, when they were crowned you. national champions. Thank right. you, Sean. Well done. But but I mean to see to see them take that step forward, to see a team on our fraud list tell yep. us, hey, those commandments, we're Miami. We're gonna overcome that. They were on the fraud list every single round when we talked about them. They managed to get down, get there in the end. And a coach that Colby Dant himself routinely has said, you got to fade this guy, Dan Hurley, with the chip on his shoulder. Shutting me the fuck up. I knew yes. one of these and coaches was going to come back from the, from the grave as far as the coaching and uh, it, it being Hurley was a well, bit of a surprise, but Flor not, not with this UConn team and the last of those teams, Florida Atlantic. I I correctly Ooh. spot the path for an eight nine seed to get to the final uh, four. And uh, I right. pick Memphis. What when uh, I was there too, bitch. When right? when Jared Which which bracket called it? Uh, uh, which both when <laughs> both in that one. Our guest at the at the at the at the witching hour before the tourney starts that Wednesday night is 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 Jared Lee Smith, who is an FAU alum. <laughs> tries to as a nice guest would tries to talk me off of it. No, I don't listen. Mm. So all four of these teams really overcoming some adversity to yeah. get there. Really, just directly from the show, mostly. Oh, that's a fantastic final four. This tournament's been fucking a blast, and and, and, it, and it felt good uh, to hit a uh, San Diego State to win the region. Future, oh. it yeah, feels I think, good. I, I think the if you parlayed the teams that made it to the final oh. four, if you parlayed their futures, no one has. That, which right? um, I'm going to be doing every year <laughs> moving forward. Yes, yes. Uh, I think it was like a hundred dollars paid like three point nine million. <laughs> Can I say? I'm uh, out on brackets. Can we quit brackets together right now? <laughs> no, I I like one, one bracket. bracket. It was fine, uh, and you know, UCLA right was here. was hanging around. I did. I ripped up my bracket like a real pr man. Proud part of my proudest part of my bracket was the San this South region. Got Creighton, San Diego State right. I got I got it all the way right to the end. <laughs> Look out! I, I mean, uh, the rest of it was Flex. complete shit. No, no, the rest was complete shit. And no one cares about my bracket. But that was amazing. It felt good, and uh, yeah, I was even pulling up the DGen Madness uh, site that's still up. Uh, you can still find it out there on the internet, Sean, to see the Final Four that year when San Diego State won their last national championship was Arizona and Kansas on one side, Ohio State and San Diego State. <laughs> that was a great. Other. That was a great championship game too. They took down Kansas, right? Yeah. Kansas was a very stacked team. If you we remember. should we should replay uh, some of the highlights for the March uh, <laughs> feel like the Final we, Four watch party. Yeah, we Final have Four watch party is gonna be bonkers. Uh, you know, drinking games are gonna be giving out prizes. It is that's uh, a good idea, Sean. I'll I'll see what we can find. If you if you're listening to this and you have any sort of content from DJ Madness, I know I know some dudes made some highlight reels. Maybe even uh, let's try to collect all that. We'll definitely put that on display. Yeah, we got all that cooking. Hey, let's uh let's start with the picks before we do. Shout out to that's right, Shady Rays. Oh man. Love my Shady Rays. Was just driving around today, uh rocking the Shady Rays. These things are just uh, I mean, one word comes to mind. Bad ass. Love my Shady Rays. Look sharp, you're going to bet sharp. Uh we got that uh Pool party contest coming up at the Circa. Gonna be hanging out there. You know I'll be rocking my Shady Rays in Vegas, L.A., and I take my Shady Rays everywhere because if you lose or break your pair, even on day one, they will send you a brand new pair. No questions asked. Love that policy. Love Shady Rays. These they're just awesome shades. Uh, very affordable. And again, exclusively for our listeners, Shady Rays is giving out their best deal of the year. Go to shadyrays.com, use promo code SGPN, get 50% off two plus pairs of their polarized sunglasses. Try for yourself the shades rated five stars by over 200,000 people. Oh my God. I mean, go to youtube.com slash sports gambling podcast right now and just look at this beautiful face, how awesome it looks with the shady rays. Uh, shout out to the guy who tweeted us, uh, rocking his camo SGP hat, going to work at the Masters. Only thing he was missing was a sweet pair of shady rays. Maybe we got to hook that guy up. So, shadyrays.com, promo code SGP. And 
We need to get some, uh, maybe some SGPN branded uh, chew. Oh, or yes. something for you know. I'm sure there's no issues uh, licensing or no? <laughs> endorse. Well, I think you not advertise with those people anymore. Oh, you can advertise, but I think if we l- released our own line of chewing tobacco, we might face some regulations. Well, oh, uh, big league chew. What if there was just a flavor? You gotta go big league chew. <laughs> what if right? there was just a DGEN's only flavor? Okay, all right, I'll reach out if they if you work at a uh, a a boutique uh, chewing tobacco company or a big one. Hit us up for a DJ's only, or honestly, whiskey distillery too. We're, we're looking to get yeah. in the whiskey business. Been, been been looking for that one for a little bit now. Come on, whiskey companies out there. Come on, uh, <laughs> all you people in the chat. I see you. You know somebody. You know somebody in the whiskey. Spread world. the word. Get right. us a whiskey deal. If you can smoke it or, or drink it, we're probably interested. Yeah. All right. Uh, let's talk right. NIT first. All right. Really? You don't want to? You don't want to leave that for the end? All right. The NIT. Colby's making us pick the NIT championship game, which no long. Sadly, no. Is this the first year it's not in the Garden, or have yeah, I not paying attention? Year one, okay. I believe. Yeah. Uh, sadly, not in the Garden. It's in the T-Mobile. I assume it's in T-Mobile. I, I hope they didn't move out of the I think Garden. It's the Orleans. No. Maybe they so moved out of the Garden this. to go to a let, fucking let, let secondary location. This. This place. They played this in the mecca of basketball. Orleans, and they move it to the Orleans. Get the fuck out of here, Colby. Not a good look. Well, it's uh I mean, I believe this game was played pretty recently. Uh, the they played season. three times this year. This well, is the fourth meeting. UAB, the four seed, taking on North Texas, the two seed. Real strong flex here, along with uh Florida Atlantic. And and Charlotte won the CBI. So I mean that's the USA teams are seventeen and one in postseason. <laughs> they're they're going seventeen. For, they're and going one. for the uh, triple cl- uh, triple crown to win the CBI NIT yeah. and uh, March Madness. That uh, would be a crazy unbelievable. Run. I mean, look, the last two games to get to this championship in the NIT were fucking classics. Yeah, uh, the, the the game against Wisconsin was insane, especially if you had the Badgers or the over. Because the over was on pace to get destroyed by a mile, and then Wisconsin hit an offensive wall, did not score a point for the last nine minutes. You gotta be so pissed if you're on the Badgers, and they still like. I think the closing line was like two. They lost by exactly two, so there, uh, or there was some one and a half. So you could have really got boned with an incredibly bad beat. And I do see that next year. The NIT is moving to Hinkle Fieldhouse. Holy shit! I need to go to that. The NCAA tournament should go there. That's where they. That's where the and shout out to the Team Butler. Ryan in the chat yeah. calling that out there. Um, yeah, and I mean specifically talking about that Wisconsin game. You want to you want to talk about the power of the mush, Sean? Oh yeah. Well, uh, <laughs> let, let's. This is great. I I need to I need to take you back in the time machine. I, all right, here we go. So. Uh, we we got a situation where shout out to Kelly in Vegas, <laughs> fellow gambling uh, OG, uh, uh, cousin Mush shoots her a response <laughs> asking about the uh, the total in the game, saying, "Hey, it's ridiculously low," which means <laughs> Mush is thinking about oh, taking the over. Oh, he's loving that over. Now this this happened uh, at eleven fifty nine on the <laughs> West Coast AM. It, then we 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 hop along. To 1:33 p.m. in the afternoon on the West Coast, when myself and Colby get an identical text at the not, same time. Not a group text. No, separate uh, <laughs> one-on-one text at the same time. 114 and a half total in the North Texas Wisconsin game. That seemed really low to you. <laughs> Again, insinuating. Oh, man. Uh, and I would just simply respond, "It's a rock fight total." Uh, me- meanwhile, uh, cousin Mush expressing that he's been riding the Lady Hokies on their uh, <laughs> deep. Shout out to the the Lady Hokies <laughs> in the Final Four on the women's side. Which, by the way, Colby, you're probably proud to see the numbers. The WNBA beating the no, NBA. No, the, not, not the WNBA. The women's basketball Sorry, NCAA the women's tournament. Yeah. NCAA tournament is beating the NBA in ratings. Well, their players Colby, show up. Their players show up to play. I know you're the ratings players show up anyway, to play. Anyway, yeah. cousin, Mush, so cousin <laughs> Mush. Help. We can say at at a minimum, cousin Mush at this point has invested mental energy in the over in this one, and due to that nine minute drought, game goes under. 
<laughs> Nine minutes. Unbelievable. I mean, I I can't remember. Have you ever seen something like that in a championship game? Well, I so I was well, talking, especially like nine minutes to close it out. It's one thing that it was wasn't scoring. a championship, but lead up, oh yeah, lead yeah, up. yeah, yeah, yeah. Their Still, final four. Final what do they what do they call it? Like a final hobo four. four? <laughs> like, what what is, what is the NIT's well, final? Guys, if you don't know the history of the, the NIT, NIT's been around longer than the uh, NCAA it, tournament. It used yeah. to be the premier tournament, to be but, the tour- but that's why we have a chance here because the, the hobo used to be have a job no, that, before he became a hobo. The NIT <laughs> was the thing, and then the NCAA came yeah. along with more money. So we just need to scrape up more money, and we can do our own tournament. Oh, but like yeah, this. I mean, I, I all time, even if it was just theoretical mush job. And second takeaway was that Colby and I are second fiddle to Kelly in Vegas when it comes to <laughs> information requests from Cousin Mush. Oh, so a couple thought, hours earlier too, man. What the hell, man? Wasn't I, even we're, five minutes earlier. Was I'm it? related yeah. to the guy. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> All right. Before, uh, before we get to the NIT, I just have to get the town what, in. What do you my, mean? My March Madness record: thirty-five and twenty-eight ATS, sixty-seven <laughs> percent on the locks. Getting it done. That's great, Sean. I mean, you could have even. I mean, it wouldn't have been very hard to materialize a nice tout for me. You could have said something like, "Has not missed a dog." After the first round, so both oh, second round dog shows. heater. Let's go. Complete dog heater. Sweet sixteen and both second round shows. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I think what are we? We're talking UA. We were talking UAB, UAB North, North Texas. Texas. I, I mean, and did I give out the spread? Did we? Did we get nope. down there? We might have, but I'll say it again. UAB minus two, minus one thirty on the money line. North Texas plus one ten. One twenty seven and a half is the total. That's right. I got upset because. They moved it from MSG to the Orleans. Uh, not not an upgrade. COVID related apparently. But so like Colby said, this is a They had to go to the place with the most COVID. <laughs> I mean, the, the Orleans at in yeah. Las Vegas. If you're looking to avoid trying to make it a story, you know what I mean? <laughs> Co- yeah, did you hear this? COVID's coming back, Sean. Is uh, it? No. I see I see the news. You know what I mean? I see those Uh-oh. commercials. Uh oh. With like you guys oh they they have hung on to Fergie COVID. Fergie telling you <laughs> fucking or pink. Oh, I don't boy. fucking know. Someone someone's telling you John you know, Legend. Yeah. My God. <laughs> Colby's got to start wearing. Uh, I mean, that's why Colby brought in the scuba mask uh, so to mask up and create a safe, <laughs> effective boundaries. I'm all over. Uh, I'm all over North Texas here. One Ooh. loving the uh, plus seventy five percent free throw percentage against a negative or a below seventy five percent free throw percentage, which is the case of UAB and North Texas's defense. I mean, a lot of that obviously was the collapse of. Wisconsin, Wisconsin's horrible offense, and Wisconsin's ability to choke away big games all season. Uh, you know, they had Purdue on the ropes. They had a number of like wins they should have had. But North Texas, 18th in the country in adjusted defense. I think it's going to shine out in this game. Uh, they've beaten um, U- UAB, what, two out of three times? Yes. Yeah. But but the most recent one, UAB won the conference USA championship. Uh, or no. Yeah, and that's why in I'm the thinking, tournament. That's, yeah. why, tournament, I, that's yeah. why I'm saying it's revenge time well, here for North Texas. Colby, I, I was um, I was down underwater looking at pretty fish, and I came across uh, Abu Os. Who's the guy that's hurt for North Texas? That's important. Oh, it's uh, you, you're asking me to. This is gonna. I was looking at second. The, a bow, Usman. Yeah, there you go. I was, I was getting there. Would have been. I thought Sean was gonna have that. Uh, and th- I, it, I think. And again, close personal friend, Hoops Peterson. That's the difference to him between mm. a, a pick 'em and a three and a half point spread. I'm kind of with him. I, I'm going UAB here. Really? I yeah. I, I think. Uh, I mean, when we discussed this last night, late, it was a one point number. Uh, we I know Ken Palm has it as a UAB by one, so I I think I, I'm gonna wait to fire closer towards tip. Hoops has this at three and a half. Mm. Yeah, and I, and I I wouldn't be surprised if that closes, but uh, I'm still in North Texas. Hoops is not a situational guy, then, huh? What do you mean? He's saying that this injury is, is more meaningful than the numbers. Letting this is on. Grant McCaslin's last game at oh, North Texas. Wow. Yep. All right. This team ain't getting them back. All, All right. right. Well, I'll, I'll be on the Dragons. You guys take North Texas. I am taking North Texas. I think they have the motivational edge. They lost more recently in the CUSA tournament, and that was a game where UAB went on their up, shoulder. They went up like twenty to two. North Texas came all the way back just to fall short. They're going to avoid that bad start in this game. They get it done. They do it for Coach. We're going to be champions on the way out the door. Okay. Yeah. 
you got you nailed the handicap. Uh, they they played in the postseason recently. They didn't go well for that, but you know, good luck. And I'm sorry, uh, Ken Palm has North Texas by a point. Uh, all right, God bless Ken Palm, Virginia Tech guy, Hokie guy. He so. and Sha- Hokie Hokie's legend in the, in the Final Four. Hokies in the Final Four. Keep getting that in the transcription. <laughs> Next up, we're gonna hop over to the big boy dance. Uh, and we're going to stay in Conference USA, where the nine seed Florida Atlantic Owls. Who? Who? Ta- who? Nice. Sorry, Take on. Sorry. No, that's, I liked it. I was waiting for it. <laughs> Take on the five seed <laughs> San Diego State Aztecs, who are, by the way, just collecting all that karmic energy built up by years of chargering to maybe carry them on a deep run here. Deeper. They're late. They're the favorites. Minus one and a half. Minus one. I, I, what is this money line? Minus one thirty on the money line. Plus one fifteen for the Owls. One thirty two is the total. We've seen them just play in these absolute rock fights, and it has felt like they're averaging seven, holding teams at an average of seventeen points below their normal in the tournament. Like I in know, the tournament, I know they're currently number. No, no, they're they're four NCAA tournaments uh, under uh, their their four opponents. Uh, this tournament, they've held them below their season season average by twenty two and a half points. Really, Col- so, cumulatively, yeah. And and I, I think, but we watch these games, right? And so the two C, they're number two in the country defending the three point line. And I think they absolutely won these games because of how the opponent shot from three point. But I don't know if it was always their defense. Alabama was just fucking cold. They had open. Good looks, and they were cold. No, but they worked. See, no, no, I, I understand. Part but they, part of the, but, the but open Colby, looks. They had so many had open, open looks. looks. You were so mad at the way that San Diego so, State was playing because you're like, they're going to come back. They're going to come back. They're just <laughs> missing the shots. Oh, and you're saying San Diego State had open looks? No, I'm saying San Diego State. Their defense on the three point line. It wasn't just them playing great defense. That both teams they played, Creighton and Alabama, were missing good looks. And I and it felt in watching both of those games that they were just holding like San Diego State is holding on for dear life at all times. True, uh, uh, true. But I also believe like the way that San Diego State plays defense and rebounds, you know, it it makes you work all game. So yeah. by the time you do get wide open, you're fucking tired. You're tired, and it, 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 we saw I, it in the Creighton game. I'm too. just saying it wasn't just their defense. Like those teams were also like cold on good looks. Uh, I don't know. I mean, you shut down Alabama the way they did. You yeah. shut down Creighton. I mean, Brandon Miller was like three for twenty or something. Three what for nine. Yeah, yeah. Brandon Miller three for nineteen. Yeah. Creighton two for nineteen uh, from behind the three. That to me feels it's not meant to. It feels st- more than variance. No, no. I, but I'm not. Uh, it's not meant to say they're not a great defensive team. I'm just saying that in watching those games, my observation was that there there seems to be a little positive regression available even with their great defense because of how cold these teams my, were on my, their own. My observation were like Alabama and Creighton were tired. Okay. They, they look tired when, by the time, like the game, because San Diego state just makes you earn everything. You can't uh, Alabama couldn't run their, 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 their normal offense their transition because San Diego state's so good at offensive rebounding. FAU yeah. also top 20 in the country in three point attempts. So I, I don't think they're not, I don't think they're, they my, have my, a path yeah. to win without hitting some threes uh, in my, th- yeah. My thesis is that maybe they catch a little regression in terms of hitting the open looks instead of being cold, even on the good quality looks. And so I, I you know, at this point um, it's, I'm sad. These two teams are playing each other at this stage. This Ryan's was- going against our gals. He's doing <laughs> it. You hear this Colby? Yeah. You know, he was just, but this down is there. good news yeah. for Decker. Yeah. 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 But yeah, I mean, I, I, I do think that it, it, it is very cons- Now there's also the element of this being a big arena, right? They're playing inside of a football stadium. So that definitely oh, seems, love, I mean, seems doesn't that favor. set up uh, just beautifully for a team like San Diego state. If anyone can win in a rock fight. And again, we we've discussed about whether or not to bring in the unders either the first half unders or the all game unders oh, under the similar uh, ideas of you have a, a decent rest. You're playing in a football stadium. I feel like that always impacts your shooting a little bit. If FAU doesn't hit their threes, I think they're going to have trouble winning this game. I understand the counter argument is San Diego state's offense sucks, but you yeah. can, you can make a case that their variance was pretty low. Like they had some decent looks that they were just not making. 
Uh, they have a very deep rotation as the most of the teams are left here, but they have the, uh, the you know I, I, four I, starting seniors. Well, uh, uh, FAU is actually shot one of the teams in the nation that plays their bench more than San Diego State. So yeah, I mean both teams have a very deep rotation. I, I think this is one though. You you go back and look at the Memphis handicap. Memphis should have beat Florida. Florida Atlantic if they could have got the ball off the court. They had a one point lead but what with happened? the ball. What happened? Okay, but they but, were frantic but, and had no fucking but, plan. But, well, and it came home in the San, game. San Diego State though is is a better team than Memphis. Did you watch the guy throw yeah. it to the other team up to yeah. free layup? S- San Diego State's a better team. That than was a Memphis. bit of a joke. And they're super experienced. They're super experienced. It doesn't show in the in the clutch moments though. And I I love. What do you wh- mean, Darian Trammell hit fucking big shots when you're down uh, nine FAU, to Alabama FAU, in the second FAU, half? FAU hasn't. The FAU doesn't have a double digit win in this tourney. Now San Diego yeah. State has one, and that was a 23 point win against Furman, a seven point win against the number one team in the I, in the tournament. And if there was going to be a letdown spot, it was. I mean, they beat Alabama. They could go home proud Aztecs. They can go home on their shield. That's all they needed to do to have a successful tournament. They followed it up by beating Creighton. This San Diego State team is the team of destiny. Mm. Defense wins championships. Let's go, SDSU. I'm with you. I think the experience pays off. I just think they're 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 Extremely deep. Most of their team are upperclassmen. Please tune in to the live, the watch oh, yes. oh, for a live sweat because it's going to be great. I, I am guaranteeing game. right now Colby's going to flip flop on this one nope. because he's going to be so fucking angry watching this offense. No, no. I, I love San Diego no. State. I love Florida Atlantic. I no. wish I didn't have to pick a side here, but if I'm picking a side, it's uh, it's Florida Atlantic. Well, and then Ooh. isn't that doesn't that show you why it's a good tourney? Yeah. Like it's not Great game. it's not one and a half point spread. Yeah. One and a half point spread uh for a semifinal game between two of the I mean, it, you objectively you can't like just because they have a nine and a five, like based on their like record and how they play, two of the best teams in the country. Yeah, they year. both have over thirty wins. I was gonna say it's uh, like any asshole that's sitting there saying this how? isn't it's like, come on. I mean what else do you want? They've been great the whole year, the whole year. And and same can be said about UConn. San Diego state lost six games uh, in, in the mountain West. And three of those losses were to St. Mary's, Arkansas, and Arizona. Yeah. Arkansas one was a joke too. They and and Florida year. Atlantic has three losses. One of those being to Mississippi in sec squad. So uh, I mean, on just the second night of the season. early in the season. Yeah, so yeah. yeah, I mean this, it's just, Again, people obviously. I, I never got to my point, but hoops, as hoops said, they they don't watch the games. Uh, <laughs> second, and th- this was by the way, three oh nine on the West Coast. We'll the watch party will kick off at three sharp, sharp. so we'll have a couple minutes before the games to get going. And I will, uh, I will be live wagering. Uh, what, what, how many? How much? Maybe maybe carve off. Uh, right, I think we crack open the safe and and you know reload our accounts for some entertainment purposes uh, for some live one k a piece. I'm down. S- see who ends up with the most. Oh, that's fun. Uh, all, all right, right. Uh, I just unsheathed my sword. You're talking about sharp. You need a sharp sword in the bedroom as well. That's right. Hello. Uh, you already do the the manscaping, which is great. You know, makes makes your uh, sword look a little longer. But hey, if you got a long sword and the plumbing's backed up, it's not working. You're not gonna do any damage. No one's ever. Wa- Colby was watching um, something about the Civil War. I don't know. As an employee, he's spending his time learning about the Reno's, in the city of Reno, and the history of Reno, Nevada. Sean. The history of Reno and Nevada, which um, I don't know. Pre-math. Pre-math. <laughs> We're paying a guy to watch uh, <laughs> Reno and their involvement in the, the the Civil War. The point is, they were charging at swords. Do you think the North could have taken down the South with soft swords? No, of course not. Same applies to the bedroom. You can't go to battle with a soft sword. Increase your blood flow in ways that help you thrive as a man in the bedroom. Sword vitality can help increase your stamina. You don't have to hide it. You can be proud of it. Unsheath. Your sword. Visit swordvitality.com and use promo code SGPN. Uh, make sure you go to checkout and it's at it's at the last step there. Swordvitality.com, promo code SGPN for a nice discount. That's swordvitality.com, promo code SGPN. Yeah, I'm in and, and shout out to the chat. I, I like what uh, Ryan Hasty is saying there. Like just taking a a window of the the game basically finishes by 
um one to five point margin so you're you're playing plus five to plus mm, to, to like minus that. five that I feels like that. that feels i mean is it going to be a close game and that's plus 125 it does does kind of yes, feel like this is going to be a close game hopefully we don't get one of those uh final fours a stinker after we had i don't want the people to be right those motherfuckers because mm-hmm. mm-hmm. they will they will take they will walk out in the streets with their their pitchforks <laughs> and their torches and they will let us know about it uh, the next game, which tips off, I think officially it's 29 minutes after the completion of the first game, potentially 5:49 here on the West Coast. And again, we're live streaming through it all. Uh, five seed Miami. I kind of hate that the U is making this run, but we did call that Larinaga builds teams for making deep tournament runs. Here he is catching five and a half plus 205 on the money line. UConn, the four seed. Clearly the best team remaining, and now Ken Palm's overall number one squad. My uh, they're they're minus two fifty on the money line. One forty nine is the total. So I mean, just to kind of tie a bow on the the fraud list and the commandments. Uh, at the end the end of the day, there's only going to be one team in the top twenty, in both offensive and defensive efficiency, and it's going to be Connecticut. Uh, even if you use if you use the cumulative score we talked about being under 50, Florida Atlantic right there at 54. Well, and, and also UConn isn't is the only team that has in uh that didn't win their conference championship, right? Yeah. So uh what do you, no, oh, San Diego. Yeah. I was about to say Miami didn't. Yeah, Miami yeah. did Miami won the regular season. No. No. No, they, oh yeah, yeah, never mind. I was looking at it backwards. UConn's the only conference championship. Yeah, they won their championship, yeah. which normally would be a fade, so the commandments might not be having a good year. Well, I mean, this has just been such a bonkers year, but I, I think there's still some uh some stuff that was in there. I mean, I think the free throw stuff has been super accurate, not to tout my own uh commandment in there. Izzo off the uh one day rest that had uh, that had a decent run there. That is it although is that in the commandment list? First half unders were profitable, just yeah, barely. But but from a perspective of like two teams that were both like on the fraud list in Miami and a fringe fraud list team in San Diego State are in the Final Four, and you know the the top twenty rule only Connecticut can win the championship and prove that right. Yeah, I mean I, for this game specifically, it does. The reason Miami continues to get it done is be, because of, of that backcourt. And I think it's you got to hold on to the Hurley fucking up, right? Like the best team is not going to win this tournament, and so if the best team remaining, by by most people's account, by most a- advanced analytics, is Connecticut, there's no way they're winning this one. And so, little surprised to see the number what it is. I think at this point, all four of these teams to me are a wash. Like if both of these games was a pick 'em, that would make sense to me. So I'm obviously going to take the points, take Miami. Uh, and a little representation for that mid ma- mid major conference known as the uh, ACC. Feel Did, free to jump uh, in. Should the anytime. ACC try to add Florida Atlantic? Yeah, I mean it's got Atlantic in they, the name. They, 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 I, I mean, mean their program looks pretty good. UConn. I'm just. We could have an all Florida final, and that would just that that also oh, that would be hilarious. They're like 20 <laughs> miles apart. I feel like. It's, <laughs> yeah. I think I think this is the game that could be the blowout, and I think UConn Ooh. really could. Uh, just could put it on them. I mean, you look at UConn, twenty-two and a half point uh, average margin of victory. Like I, I think this team kind of snuck under the radar because they had that. They were what two and six uh, in that eight-game stretch in December. But other than that, they've been unstoppable, and they've been a value from a betting point of view as well. UConn, twenty-five, eleven, and one ATS. They're covering it like seventy. Um, percent here and Miami to me, Miami seems like the Cinderella story where oh. they may turn into a pumpkin because of, of how, uh, how like awesome their shooting has been and, and kind of kept them in these games that they shouldn't have been in. I mean, they should have lost to Texas, but they stuck around. They started hitting their shots. I, I can't explain it, but it just doesn't seem sustainable for uh, Miami. I Massive mean, coaching advantage. You think Larinaga is way better? Oh, I mean, yeah, he's he's done this before. He's been in this moment before with a it's true. with a Cinderella team. I mean, a, a much more like a much realer Cinderella team. And I think, you know, you could argue that this is some of the best guard play he's ever had. 
which is maybe why they're making this deep run and, and, and just the kind of like, which team celebrated the most in the week off? Uh, which, that's which, tough. Florida which Atlantic team was smelling Miami? themselves the most. I mean, I mean, I, I, maybe I listen Miami? to stuff from those Florida Atlantic kids. I don't think I, I believe them. That maybe, <laughs> maybe I'm biased. Cause I, I like listening to the uh, Hurley. Like he seemed very competent. He seemed very dialed in. Oh boy. You see what happened here. You see what's happening here, Colby. Yeah. And look, I've been embarrassed by Dan Hurley. And I, I had, I had tweeted Uh-oh. out that, you know, look, okay. I'm buying into Yukon. I'm not doing that. <laughs> it's Dan Hurley. Jimmy Larinag is my boy. All yeah. right. Here's Give me a- the hurricanes to get it done. Here's a great stat. Um, and I forget who I found it Shout on Twitter. Out George Mason. Um, uh, Miami My, and Miami's a great team. I understand the appeal here of hopping on the Miami train, but um, you could make a case. They had the toughest path to the final four Miami. They are 24 and O when they've out rebounded their opponents. The problem is I don't mm. think they're going to no. be able to out rebound this UConn team. UConn second in offensive rebounding percentage. You just mentioned the Ken Palm r- rankings. I was gonna also Texas was like number five or six. Yeah. What happened to the Longhorns when they played the Same U? Same matchup, yeah. All right. No, they 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 brought some physicality there. I and I, and I actually think this week with those five days off. Remember, UConn before was only getting two three days off. You've been you've been playing at a great level, but five days off, and then you got to come into this NFL, you know, ridiculous shopping mall, right? And uh, you got to come in there and play good ball. The hurricanes are hot right now. The heat is in the hat, Sean. Interestingly <laughs> enough, uh, Houston. So you mentioned uh, UConn number two in offensive rebounding. Uh, Houston number four. By the way, how how that game go? Uh, Texas, Indiana, not the best, but they 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 do it better than the stats. No, and suggest. everyone's gonna be on UConn. Oh, I think everyone's gonna be on Miami. No, My, I, I thought the line should. Oh. I thought the line was gonna open up at like eight. Uh, or uh, again, oh, wow. big time jinx. Uh, Dave Portnoy Uh-oh. put uh, two hundred fifty grand. He's a jinx now. Oh, you think he's a great gambler? No, <laughs> I didn't know he was known as a. Oh, now. not. I mean, I just think he's like a below average gambler. Okay. Yeah, I mean, put two hundred fifty. But yeah, I mean, uh, you know, it's no, no disrespect to Chowderheads. Wheel, but no, you know, love Chowderheads. They bet with their hearts, not their heads. <laughs> He's an emotional. He's probably got a handicapper, yeah. much like myself. He put uh, a quarter mil on Miami to win it all. So again, if you're looking for any sort of signs of where the public may be, I think he may be aligned with the public. I think the public saw Miami, no, man. and they they you like kind of, you kind of blowing out everybody. You want the official betting splits? Sure. I'll even give you NIT UI UAB uh, catching some of the public steam here. 70% of, of the bets and 80% of the money. All right. Florida Atlantic, 55% of the bets, 52% of the money. Nice, healthy split there. Miami 39% of the bets, only 28% of the money. Yukon is catching. Wow. Okay. Catching the side and, and you know, to that's probably, I mean, we've seen the line move from five to five and a half. Perhaps you're right, Colby. Maybe the money continues to push this North and we wait oh, on our Miami uh, money line. I, but uh, yeah, I mean, th- so uh, I surprising to me that, that uh, cause I'm with you, Sean. I, I, I think we just, maybe it's just the smart circles we run in. Um, <laughs> no, I, I, I feel like I know you're on again, the other side. I didn't, That's, I, I cat my casual straw man poll seemed like people were going to be on Miami as a, as a dog here under the idea of like, Hey, it's anyone's tourney. Why not take the free points here? I, which I get that angle. Vegas I just Dave think is this, on UConn money line. <laughs> I just think this UConn team is, is just awesome. And they're great against this spread. I think this is their time to shine. So yeah. Uh, you know, let's I go. Did, all right. Jimmy Colby, Laranaga. Here's the idea. We, we change the uh, the person on the other horse instead of it being um, blob. We Photoshop yeah. out blob and we put in Dan Hurley. Dan Hurley and uh, what's my guy's name that you just said t- took him the the better uh, that the dude, oh, Vegas yeah. Dave yeah Vegas Dave we, and they're all Greg, hanging out. Uh, Greg in the YouTube chat is a great question. Anyone uh, on the Aztecs team from the 2020 D Gen Madness <laughs> championship? Yes, Mensa. Mensa. Yeah. Mensa, Mensa was there. Yeah. Him oh, and his yeah. brother yeah. were on that squad. That's if a you sign. Uh, you know, she was just in Cabo San Lucas. You know who yep. happens to live in Cabo San Lucas? Mensa, Vegas, Dave. 
Really? <laughs> he had to leave the country? Well, I, I was forced. Wait. I was forced to watch some documentary. Yeah. Why would he? Well, so he's not. Was he snorkeling with he's Dave? Cabo, he's there? Cabo Dave. Yeah. Cabo Dave. Yeah. Ca Cabo it, Dave and baseball really Sean were hanging <laughs> out talking about the World Series futures. <laughs> oh my my Cubs Phillies future. If you haven't heard it. Colby, did you did admitted you, snorkeler? I don't want to spoil Sean's World Series prediction, but he. he oh. I don't know if you heard about it. Did it cross your radar? Uh, I know you're not a baseball guy. I am a baseball guy uh, when it comes when it comes to making fun of Sean. All right, there like, we go. Um, I mean, that was great. That uh, was gold. All time. That was gold. But <laughs> all right, let's lock it up. I randomly someone someone said we have to bring back the sprinkle drop. Mm. I I don't remember. We did have it briefly on there. Okay, but I think it's some other guys. Show I think, uses it yeah, so. I was gonna say I think some some uh, less less reputable place was using it, so we did the right <laughs> some thing. Some slippery fellas slowly backed away <laughs> from the situation. All right, lock. You know, I, I've been pretty impressed with this Florida Atlantic team, and I hate to do it to our our oh, gals, wow. but I, I Florida Atlantic I think will be playing for a national championship. And obviously my dog, give me Miami. That's a two to one uh, to, to get a, a team with this type of coaching edge, with this type of guard play, throwing out the fraud list. Fuck you, Con. Mensa, San you, Diego State, get it done, lock it up. And my dog, give me uh North Texas on the money line. You grew up in the Northeast. <laughs> Nothing worse than a Yukon fan. Daquan in the chat says, Colby, why have I been against Yukon uh, all year? Did they do something to ECU? Yeah, <laughs> they took Tristan Newton. He transferred from ECU to Yukon. Fuck them. Uh, look, my. Oh, wait, maybe I should sw switch. It's my personal head. with my, UConn, uh, Kramer. My, yeah. You're riding a Colby personal play. You want to you go with Vegas Dave or you want to hang out with the winners? Who, who are you? All right, so <laughs> both give us our lock. Give us, make sure you give us the lock and the dog, but then also. Tell us who you're going to be rooting for on Saturday. Okay, <laughs> uh, locking up, locking up uh, San Diego State minus one and a half. Okay, taking Miami on the money line. Jimmy Larinaga magic continues. Yeah, and uh, I'm rooting for San Diego State, Miami, no, and I, and North Texas. You're going to be rooting for Florida Atlantic by the second half. Now, <laughs> Sean, you want to make a side? To get, I want the Aztecs to get into the Big Twelve or Pac twelve. All right, here yeah. here's the question. It's bigger, and it's we'll, bigger. we'll make a contest out of this. But maybe maybe, what is the once we get the live stream up, Sean? One idea for a contest is to guess the time when Colby first starts <laughs> rooting for Florida <laughs> Atlantic. Love it. All uh, right. No, I won't do that, man. I, I San Diego State. I'm trying to get them into the Big Twelve, the Pac Twelve. You uh, you're know. trying to get them. Uh, in. I've wrote my senator. All right. <laughs> that subscribe button, YouTube.com/slash Sports Gambling Podcast. Tune in Saturday, three o'clock on the West Coast. Final Four watch party. Going to watch both games with you. Crack some cold ones. Have some laughs. Give away some prizes. It's going to be a grand old time. And uh, sportsgamingpodcast.com slash golf party. We are going to announce the winner of the Circa Las Vegas contest on air during the final four watch party. So you want to stay tuned for that. Thank you for participating in the Sports Gambling Podcast. For the Sports Gambling Podcast, I'm Sean Stacking the Money Green, and he is Ryan. I still hope that San Diego State plays really well. <laughs> Kramer, let it ride.